Sally Hibbard is with us now. Now she runs Oracle Animal Care Workshops and Pet Parties and visits schools for educational workshops. In fact, last time she came in, she brought a lizard. It was awesome. She's here today, though, to give us some tips on taking care of our pets during Guy Fawkes. Thank you so much for joining us, Sally. Thank you for having me. And you brought Margot in. I did. She's a gorgeous little girl. She is. She's quite stunning. She's, she's a little bit nervous. She's not nervous about Guy Fawkes, but she's a bit nervous about being here today. Well, she's been wonderful. She's been the star of the show so far. She's left fluff all over your couch. Oh, that's all right. Might consider on that side later on. Right. Um, now, I want to know about Guy Fawkes and pets. Should I keep my pets indoors with Guy Fawkes? I mean, what, when it's coming up, it's quite a big deal, isn't it? It is. Um, definitely keep pets inside. What about things like bunnies and your guinea pigs? Should you bring them in as well? Yeah, if you can, bring your, your rabbit hutches and, and things into the garage, or if you've got indoor accommodation, that's good. If you can't bring them in, then cover them with um, a blanket or tarpaulin, but just leave a little bit of light so they're not in complete darkness. So even rabbits and things, they'll get scared by the fireworks. Yeah, yeah, and being in a, a caged environment, they can injure themselves on the cages if they get a, a shock. So during the day, before Guy Fawkes, should I do anything special with my dog to tire her out? Yes, or do um, things? big walk. Um, later in the day or early evening and that'll just help to calm them um, later on in the evening when all the noise starts. I must admit my dog, uh, Pepper, doesn't seem to mind Guy Fawkes at all. Is she minding it and I just don't know but she seems just relaxed and sleeps anywhere. It might be because you're quite relaxed about it. Yeah. If, if we make a big deal about every noise with our dogs and we go rushing to comfort them each time something goes bang, we're actually reinforcing that it's scary and there's a problem. So to just carry on as normal, but maybe have a bit of background noise, um, that sort of thing, have the TV radio okay. on, but not make a big deal and, and go rushing to them every time there's a, a noise because you can actually end up making it worse. So how do I make sure that they are comfy inside? Um, just make sure they've got somewhere quiet to sleep where they can get away from things, maybe somewhere a little bit dark and quiet if they're scared. And it does help if you've got a nervous dog, um, if you're home yep. as well. Should I keep the curtains closed? Yes. Now what if I'm not at home for my pets, what do I need to do? Um, curtains closed, TV on, radio on, um, just a bit of a distraction and having gone for that big walk during the day is going to help as well. Do we see lots of injuries actually around this time with Guy Fawkes with pets? Um, some of them, horses um, can have problems with the, the loud noises and running into fences, things like that. hard to like bring your that. horse inside isn't it? It is a bit. Um, Cats go missing on Guy Fawkes night, particularly if, if people are new to an area or there's a new kitten and they get a fright and take off, they can get quite disoriented. So leading up, what should I do then to Guy Fawkes with my pet? Just those things, take them for a big walk on the day, but nothing in the week before? There's not a lot you, you can do, mm. really, prior. No. And you're never going to know if your pet has a reaction until it actually happens, are exactly. you? Exactly. Okay, so just keep them indoors and give them snuggles, but not too many snuggles, the yep. right amount of snuggles. Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And it's been really good for talking about Guy Fawkes with us, Sally. Now let's hope it's a safe one for our pets out there this year. For more information about the pet party and animal education services Sally offers, check out her website. And we have a $50 pet of the week voucher available. Congratulations to Yogi from Auckland. Oh. Look at Yogi. Yogi looks awesome. You're our winner from this week. Jump onto Facebook and post your favourite pet pick to be in to win. Pet of the Week is proudly brought to you by Pet.Kiwi, a one-of-a-kind pet store that provides free vaccines to shelter animals.